What's up, you guys? Um, it's me, Angelique, your broke black girl, giving you content. Actual content this time. <laughs> I saw one of Kylie Jenner's new Instagram posts. It was these nails and they were so pretty. Obviously, I'm not gonna to go to the shop and get them done because I get paid tomorrow, but tomorrow isn't today and I want them done today and I thought they would make great content. So here we are, here's her nails. This is what I'm gonna be trying to recreate on my basic real nails with some polish and whatnot. I know I said I was gonna like try to recreate this look for you guys, but I think that should come after because I think this is a lot more important. So <laughs> I don't have the equipment to for this video. Hopefully it looks right when I do it. Feel like I should just get into it. If it turns out bad, it turns out bad. Stay to see the results. So these are what my nails are looking like at the moment. I have to first take off the pre-existing nail polish. One of my nails are chipped already, but it's not a big deal. We're going to take them off. So what I do is when it comes to nails with glitter, I find it easiest to take it off with a filer. I use the pointed edge to break and lift the polish. I just don't like using nail polish remover and regular cotton balls because when I use the cotton balls it gets stuck on the glitter and the glitter just ends up like destroying the cotton ball so this is easier for me One down, nine more to go. I can't get you out of my mind. It's like I feel it for the first time. Been thinking about you all night. I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but Your dark hair with those eyes so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life Can I take you there? Take you there? Like it was the first time, do you remember? Can I take you there? Back to when we felt like this was forever Can I take you there? here and watch me file all the paint off my nails so let's just jump right into the next step using these LA colors nail polish removers that are scented strawberry they don't smell like strawberries but they smell good um, I'm going to take off whatever whatever polish I have left on my nails Wrong guys. They keep telling me it's all right. Could I be so blind? I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right but Your dark hair with those eyes so bright They look into my soul and it sparks my life the reason I'm using these nail polish removers is because I ran out of cotton balls So I had to go to these But as you can see, 
it's having a hard time taking off the metallic that I had on my nails. They also leave your fingers looking really oily looking and feeling. Obviously, I only use these for backup. With this tool, I am going to clean under my nails. That's not all that exciting or anything, so I can just skip this. But just make sure you guys clean under your nails, because dirty nails are not cute, they disgusting, and all that good stuff. Now that our nails are looking all nice and clean, it's time to get on to what we actually came for. Can I take you there? Before you put on any kind of polish, you always want to put on a base coat. This one is LA Colors base and top coat I got from Dollar Tree. using Sally Hansen Miracle Gel nail polish in Headbang. So I'm getting a little creative. I think the nude color Kylie had under the animal print was a bit lighter than the one I have. This is the only nude nail polish that I have. I also don't have any vinyls guys so I'm about to just be as neat as possible when I do my line work. What I'm doing right now is pouring a little bit of my nail polish out so I have better access to it when I go to use it. I don't have the proper nail utensils so instead of using, you know, one of the things that you would see people use in nail salons, I will be using the tip of my comb. This is some broke black girl stuff. I don't care, I don't care. So, I mean, I have what I work with. If you don't have a rat tail comb, you can also use the tip of a ballpoint pen that you don't ever think you're going to be using again, obviously. But from here, you just want to paint the tip. Obviously, if you have nail vinyls, you just want to lay that down, again, paint the tip, and then rip it off, and you'll have the same result. does not have to be the neatest because the one part that we want to be the neatest is actually just going to be the animal print. Just try to make it as neat as possible but if you do mess up just a little bit it's fine. should look like when they're all finished now of course I have to do my other hand I won't do that on camera because that's unnecessary and then when they're all dry we can get to the animal print I cleaned off my miscellaneous object with the brown polish on it and now we will be putting black polish on it. What I have is Claire's matte black polish. It doesn't have to be matte black. I just have matte black polish. I don't have regular black polish. <laughs> don't forget to clean off the nude polish off the tip of whatever you were using to make the designs. Actually, I went ahead and found something a little bit smaller with a really fine tip 
because these designs we want them to be perfect and not so bulgy and then from here you just want to make incomplete circles and dots in the middle of them <laughs> that's basically all Also sorry about the blurriness, I promise that will be fixed later on in the video, not too far behind. Hopefully y'all can see these a lot better now. I had my camera using selfie mode before and this definitely it's, it captures it way way better. So sorry about that. Some polish gets on my finger instead of my nail. I use my filer and just correct that a little bit. When doing my thumb, I had this really, really crazy idea that I was just gonna do the whole thumb instead of the tip. So the whole thumb, the whole thumbnail is going to get printed on instead of just the tip. And um, I feel like that was a bad idea in the long run, but. There was no way to correct this, so I had to keep going with it. Tell me down below if you feel as though it was a good choice or not. to do my other hand I will get back to you guys when it is done 
after you're done with the print and you let it dry, you want to go in with a top coat. But you don't want to go in with just any top coat. You want to go in with a matte one. And this is from Black Heart Beauty. I got it from Hot Topic. The reason why I want to go in with a matte top coat is because Kylie's were acrylic and they were not glossy. So I'm just trying to recreate the look as much as possible while still adding my own creative flair to it. But if you want a glossy look instead, go ahead, feel free to do whatever you like. I only added one generous layer of top coat, but if you want, feel free to add two. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. And I don't know, I feel like I did, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I honestly, it's so weird because I don't even like animal print all like that. Like, I love the look on people other than me like i you know there's just some things that you'd rather like just look at in the distance than just because no <laughs> but um yeah i feel like these turned out so well they're not completely matte like i wanted them to be um So this was just a tad bit disappointing, but I feel like it did its job for the most part. It's definitely not glossy. This of course has texture to it, cause I mean, I don't have the neatest handwork, but it's, it's pretty good. Like I really, really like these. And basically what I was doing was showing y'all some, you know, cheap tricks for doing your nails at home, especially if you don't have the money. Or this is just also to show you guys that you can do really nice things on short nails. I really, I was, I'm so scared to like do anything because they're not completely dry. They're, they're dry for the most part, but you know how you don't want to do anything, so there's like they nice. Let me just oil my cuticles because these babies looking dry. <sighs> Again, I got this look inspired by Kylie. Just with you guys, I am not a big fan of the Jenners. Not Kylie, not any of them. I can't can't remember. Wait, was it Kylie Jenner or Kylie Kardashian? No, it's Kylie Jenner. Yeah. But yeah, that's all. I hope you liked this tutorial, I guess. Um, I actually had a lot of fun doing this. It's a, it was a bit tedious, just a tiny bit, but it was, it was a fun experience. I think I might get into liking animal print now, <laughs> but I hope you stick around for another one of my videos. I hope you have a great day. Um, happy 2020. And um, like I said before, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.